Hello, my lovely Leos. Welcome, welcome to your weekly forecast. We're going to see what's happening the week ahead with this lovely deck here. And then we're going to pull a spirit message for you all from this lovely unicorn themed deck at the end. Uh, we have some very, very heavy energies going on right now. I'm trying to keep the reading light. I'm trying to use some, uh, you know, bright, happy card decks here. But the truth of the matter is, my darling Leos, we do have the full moon in Sagittarius coming up. It's an eclipse, so the energy is going to be with us for a while. And this full moon is going to bring a lot of people's desire for fairness, uh, truth, like living their best life, freedom, uh, really kind of to the surface. And uh, we're coming into this time of mass awakening. So... We're going to see a lot of things continuing happening in the world around us. Uh, but I'm not going to do a political reading here. I'm going to try to focus on how the energies are going to be affecting Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising in your personal lives. We're going to keep it into personal lives here. I'm going to see what comes up in the week ahead for Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Okay. Two, three, four. Uh, your first card here is the Page of Wands, okay? Page of Wands is very much, it's your energy. You're a fire sign, right? So Page of Wands is going to be action. Page of Wands is going to be uh, a sense of adventure, a sense of finding oneself, establishing your independence. Uh, you know, those of you that you watch my readings, you might have heard me talk about Page of Wands and kind of refer to it as like the second adolescence, right? There's two kinds of, uh, not two kinds, but like two uh, extremes that teenagers go through. And there's the extreme where you're angry and you just hate the world and you don't like yourself and you lock yourself up in the room and you listen to sad music. And then there's the extreme of like, you know, feeling really confident, feeling really optimistic, finding something you're really passionate about, you know, like finding your friends, finding your clique, uh, you know, feeling like you're going to go out there and grab the world by the tail and put it in your pocket, right? It's that, uh, it, it's that confident kind of energy and also establishing your identity, your independence. Now, not all teenagers get to have that experience. Maybe I'm describing like more of a Western uh, world kind of teenage energy uh, but nonetheless I kind of refer to this as like the adolescence card and so uh, uh, Leo you might <clears throat> be feeling very youthful you may be, be you may be reconnecting with friends from the past maybe you're reconnecting with uh, friends from high school or friends from younger days but overall the the main energy I'm getting from this card for you guys is this just sense of independence like this is who i am this is what i want to do there could be a certain degree or level of rebellion with this um energy but i feel like you're doing it in constructive ways you're doing it in ways that uh is you know uh helping you get out there and fulfill dreams and uh, accomplish goals and uh feel uh, feel accomplished, feel uh, in control of where you're going, of where you're headed in your life, like taking control of where, where you're going and just seizing the moment, seizing the day. So that's the kind of energy I'm feeling here with Page of Wands. And because uh, it's fire sign energy, you know, Leo, you might really, really be feeling very passionate because it's kind of like a... I feel like it's emphasizing, it's emphasizing the, the fire sign aspect of being a Leo. And one of the things about fire signs is just being very passionate. And I don't mean passionate in terms of, you know, physical intimacy or the bedroom. Although you guys did have some very interesting things come up for you in that area in the love readings for June, right? Uh, but we're not talking about love in the weeklies. So when I'm talking about passion, I don't mean necessarily in a physical intimacy or bedroom kind of way, but rather like things that you, you're, you're zealous about them. You're excited, you're enthusiastic, and uh, you're feeling excited about the future. Like that's the energy I'm getting with the Page of Wands. The next card here, Leo, 
Wow, look at this. King of Wands. So I kind of feel that there's a there's a theme here. Obviously, we're going from Page of Wands to King of Wands. This is not a new deck. I've had this deck for a while. Uh, it has been used pretty heavily, so they've been shuffled a lot. So the fact that we're going from Page of Wands to King of Wands, um, it indicates here that there is a, a process of growth. Like some of you are making very, very big progress in terms of self-improvement, personal development, and growth in this week where you're going from page to king kind of energy. You're making the shift fairly quickly. Uh, king of wands is your, it's your energy, Leo. Okay? I love the king of wands. King of wands is kind of, I've said this before, like my tarot crush because of the story, the backstory. Uh, you know, king of wands is somebody who uh, didn't have things handed to him he wasn't born into royalty right but he he struggled and there weren't opportunities so he created opportunities he made opportunities he dug himself out of that hole and then everybody was like oh my gosh wow you're amazing you know please be our king please be our leader and he uh is very happy to help and to mentor others and to show others the way. He found solutions. Um, you know, this is very much an entrepreneurship kind of energy too here with the King of Wands. So this might be uh, energy that you're stepping into where uh, you're seeing growth in your projects, you're seeing growth in yourself, um, employment kind of, I don't know if I want to say schemes, that sounds negative and I don't mean it in a negative way at all. But your, your self-employment plans or, uh, you know, projects. And so you might be wanting to step up and serve your community um, or uh, people who've been through some similar experiences as you have. And you might be doing some kind of mentorship or you might be preparing some kind of coaching plan in some way. Or if it's not in, in the terms of like, uh, you know, teaching others, you might be mentoring a person, you know, there might be somebody coming in that's reminding you a lot of, of yourself when you were younger. And it could be for some of you, uh, your child, because it's the same suit, right? Page of fire, page of uh, king of fire, you know, or, or wands, I should say, it's the same suit. So maybe some of you are uh, preparing something or you're like, you're training your, your kid, teaching them like, you know, one day this is going to be yours and this is how you're going to take care of it or this is how you're going to get through life. Uh, you might be uh, preparing something that you're going to be able to pass on. Even if you don't have kids just yet, you might be creating something, some idea, some project that's going to be a legacy that you're going to be able to pass on. Um, either way, the King of Wands is very independent, very intelligent, very business-minded, very creative, uh, very passionate, um, very free-spirited kind of energy. And I almost feel, Leo, it's like something you're giving yourself permission to, to be, like, within yourself. Like, maybe as, as we're coming into, we're coming out of the Venus retrograde energy, coming into the full moon in Sagittarius, as you're thinking about your best life and living in your truth and, like, you know, having your freedom and stuff respected, you know, when we talk about passing down traditions or passing down the torch and there's, like, an element of kids here and stuff, like, you might be finding or realizing that, hey, you know what, like, I can still have my freedom and I can still be the person that I am and I can still have a sense of family or a sense of relationship, right? Like I, I can, I can create my own style. I don't have to edit myself like that, that this is how the family structure has to be, or this is how I have to behave. So I almost feel something about it is like, the fire sign parts of you that maybe people made you feel bad about that. Oh, Leo, you have a temper. Or, oh, Leo, you're stubborn. Or, oh, Leo, like whatever. Like, you know, they maybe mistook your passion for, for being stubborn or they mistook uh, your your passion and your big heart for being uh, uh, emotional or, or, or too feisty or too hot to handle or something. And you're like, no, you know what? These are actually really positive aspects about me. 
I don't need to change them. They've served me well. They've gotten me through so many years. And so I just feel something about the King of Wands. It's like you're feeling comfortable in your own skin. You're feeling like, you know what? I don't need to change. There's nothing wrong with me. So I do feel in this way, there's like a, a giving yourself permission to just kind of be. Your next card here, Leo, is the Seven of Cups. And Seven of Cups is not surprising to see it come up for you guys because there is an indication of growth. And for some of you, I do feel like something happened, whether it's a project in terms of self-employment or, or a job you've been working or uh, you kind of started looking into something for, for the future. Um, uh, it, it's moving forward very quickly. It's like it's, it's moving forward very quickly and you're feeling very overwhelmed. Like, holy moly, what do I do? Right? Uh, the best way I can describe what I mean is like, uh, for example, like when I was going to get a car, and I, I didn't even know what kind of car I wanted. I wasn't even sure if I was ready. I wasn't sure if I had enough down for the, for the down payment. And I was like, let me just go look. Let me just go start looking. And I was just looking and, uh, you know, calling around a few dealerships. And then, you know, before I even got to the dealership, a, de a dealer, you know, called me back and said, okay, well, I have this, you know, car and, and, uh, you know, this is what the monthly payments are going to be. And I was like, what? Like, hold on. Like, how how did this happen? Right. But then I, I went and it was good and, and it just ended up happening, you know, but I thought maybe it was going to take a few months, but it just happened. Or like where I'm living now when I moved and I was look, I would just I was just looking at places to get an idea. And the next thing I knew, I was, you know, signing, signing a lease. It just it just happened very quickly. So I feel like maybe you're doing some kind of research or you're setting out and you're doing some kind of research and uh, before you know it, it's moving forward. But I feel it's going to be something bigger than buying a car or bigger than like moving into like renting a place. You know, it, it's, it's, you know, maybe something like your business is growing and you're having to figure out which direction you're going to take it in, if you're going to be hiring people to help you, if you're going to be manufacturing things, you know, or if you're going to be extending your services, or if you're going to be doing some kind of a merger, um, or in your job, you're, you know, it's like, wow, like, am I really ready? And am I going to move up? Am I going to do this? So I just kind of feel like something you've been doing is coming into like the next phase, the next stage much sooner than you had anticipated. And you don't know what to do. You're like, what do I do? Do I turn left? Do I turn right? I don't want to make the wrong decision. And you might be a little bit nervous. And so seven of cups, you know, the advice I can always give you is when you find yourself pulled in different directions and you're not sure what to do, uh, write down a, the list of all the options. And one more thing before I, I go into this. Um, some of you may have heard me say this. Those of you that watch my readings regularly. Seven of Cups comes up when you're getting unblocked. Like you, you came into a time when you felt like life was very hopeless. And there was just there, there was nothing that can be changed or nothing that could be done. And so you were stuck because of lack of options. And then with Seven of Cups, you, like, you have the shift. And you're like, no, holy moly, there's actually a lot of things I can be doing. There's actually a lot of options. Remember, you're in that King of Wands energy. And King of Wands creates opportunity. And so Seven of Cups is saying like you're having that mental enlightenment. That light bulb is going off in your head this week. And you're seeing all these kinds of different approaches that you can take in a situation or all the options that you have, and then you're stuck because you're like, well, I don't want to pick the wrong thing. Which one do I choose? Now I'm overwhelmed because there's too many choices. Well, if you can take some time and write down the different options, and then one by one, take your time, don't rush through it. It doesn't all have to be in one sitting or in one evening. You can take as many sittings, as many evenings as you want. One by one, imagine yourself like daydream living that life with, with each choice one at a time. Which ones make you feel the happiest? Which ones like just resonate with you and feel right? Where you're like, yeah, like I can feel that in my soul. That feels right. Once you have the shorter list, 
Now you start to do your research. What do I have to do to make this happen? How much is it going to cost me? How long is it going to take? Do I have to get a degree or certificate? What are the requirements? You know, um, and once you do this, then perfect, beautiful. Now you know which things you can start doing now that you have the resources to do it already or it's not going to take as long. You know what you can do now and you know what the other things are that maybe are going to be more of the long-term goals, more of the things that you're going to build up to over time. And then you're not stuck anymore, okay? And you're moving forward and you're making things happen, Leo. Your next card here is... Ooh, King of Pentacles. It's a good week to be a Leo. Okay. So King of Pentacles is very much a business kind of energy here. And it's funny because it, it goes along with the energy of being overwhelmed because things are happening very quickly or developing too fast. Because if you watch my readings, you've heard me say, um, you know, King of Pentacles is a card that comes up that tells me it, it gives me the message that there's a really big change. There's a really big opportunity that's kind of coming up out of nowhere. And you're going to be very tempted to push it away. You're going to be very tempted to say, wow, it sounds wonderful. It sounds great. But I wasn't expecting to do this so soon. And I don't know if I'm ready for it. I don't know if they realize who they're offering this to. You know, and you're going to be tempted to push it away. But King of Pentacles wants you to know that if you weren't ready for it, it wouldn't be here now, right? You have the desire for it for a reason. And if you weren't ready for it, it wouldn't be here now. And so uh, King of Pentacles is coming up with that energy, some offer, some uh, way in which you're investing your talents, your resources to, to, to grow and to come into abundance. Um, very, very uh, successful affluent energy here with the king of pentacles and so again some of you are like wow like things are changing or shifting very fast but king of pentacles is like hey look you're on the right track if you weren't ready for it it wouldn't be here now right so don't be so quick about turning away opportunities and uh, feeling like you're not good enough for them because you are all right my dears we're going to pull your unicorn card and see what message is coming in. As always, I encourage you to watch your moon sign and rising sign videos. Some weeks those are going to resonate with you more than others. You may need a private reading, which I'm more than happy to do for you. If you want to click on the Calendly link in the description of the video, you can schedule a private reading with me there. Oh, ho, ho, ho. we were just talking about abundance, Leo. Here it is. Here it is, which is really interesting. Wow, because I'm remembering now when I did your love reading uh, for um, June. I know this is not like love related, but something came in where some of you were like recovering from like a bankruptcy or you're recovering from a really uh, difficult financial situation uh, and that like money was going to be coming in. And so... It was so funny how that message came in in a love reading because it's not a love message at all. But that same message is kind of echoing through for you guys. Like you're ready for these changes. You're ready to receive. You're coming into abundance. And so this is saying enjoy the beauty of life. Your supply is unlimited. Blessings are coming to you. All right. So definitely, definitely coming into energy of receiving of being successful and that's very exciting i'm excited for you leo that's that's awesome right you guys are coming into abundance for sure and two it's like you know the whole like thing with the unicorn and the wings and and the the, the rainbow it's just it's so optimistic it's so free it's so happy uh so i really feel like leo if you've struggled in making money because you've told yourself there's something wrong with you like oh you know I can't seem to stay on the schedule or I can't seem to stay focused or I can't seem to fit into the office politics I feel you're finding a way to make money uh, that is true to you or that fits with who you are where you're not having to change yourself or edit yourself 
Um, you're finding ways to come into abundance by being who you are. Whereas in the past, you've tried to reach abundance by being who you thought you were supposed to be or editing yourself or changing yourself. So I just kind of feel there's like some really beautiful, powerful, uh, life lesson energy coming in with you kind of just owning who you are and seeing that it's not a bad thing and not having to change so much about yourself and just in that natural state you're finding a way to call in this abundance very exciting very exciting again check out your moon sun rising sign you might want a private reading you can schedule on the calendar link i will be announcing on social media on june 1st the winner of the 30 minute private reading with me for the month of may as well as the winner of the may uh prize the tarot deck giveaway uh, and I'll be announcing uh, June 2nd the new giveaway, uh, the new prize. And then, of course, every month I'll continue to give away a free private 30-minute reading. So uh, to enter the giveaways, I'm just picking people from the likes and comments on Instagram and Facebook. That's it. That's all I'm doing. So you don't have to buy anything. You don't have to schedule a reading. I'm just going to see who jumps out at me and pick two winners every single month. Uh, one last thing, guys. Uh, you guys know I try to do a fundraiser for Jennifer, lovely woman, single mom of two kids who had to close her salon for a long time and now she's really backed up on bills. Luckily, she gets to go back to work June 1st. The governor of New Mexico has approved for salons to open up, but she's still playing catch up. And you guys were awesome and we raised $888 when I did the Instagram Live. So I thought if we can get her to the goal of the 2500 if you can just donate $1, if enough people do it, 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 will, it will happen in no time. If it's not going to break the bank, I know some people don't have a dollar to donate, but if you can just donate $1, if we get to her $2,500 goal um, in the next couple of days, then uh, June 6th, Saturday, I will come onto YouTube and I will do a YouTube live where I pull cards for you guys for free. I'll just see the questions in the comments and I will pick, uh, you know, different questions and I will pull cards for you guys. So I will have that GoFundMe listed in the uh, YouTube community tab. So keep an eye out for that. Uh, and if you can help, it would be greatly, greatly appreciated. And if you can't, I still love you. No worries. Thank you guys for watching, liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Have a wonderful, wonderful week, my dears. Take care.